away. Great. Uh, well, hello. Glad y'all are here. Welcome to Unnamed Cooking Show with Common Desk and Cameron. Um, I picked carbonara and bruschetta because you can't make a whole meal out of carbonara. It's basically the heaviest thing in the world. It's so good. It's so delicious, but it's like quite heavy and it's basically, I mean, it's pasta, it's egg, it's cheese, it's bacon and pepper. It's very simple, but it's very heavy. Uh, so picked that along with the bruschetta. So we'd at least have something like vegetable-y and tomato-y and good and light to go with it. So to start, I've got, this is a big old pot of water. This is boiling. I want to get this started. I'm going to add like a lot of salt. This is what our pasta is going to go in. Um, people will always talk about seasoning your pasta water. It is like really quite important. Uh, it's the only way if you haven't salted it, you're going to have to be like trying to catch up the whole time uh, on seasoning. So it's really helpful to have that done. That's ready to go. We'll put our pasta in in a little bit. The other thing we need to do to prep for carbonara is cut this, which is bacon. I've got a couple strips of bacon. I'm going to move this guy, place it. So this is amount wise is sort of up to you. I'm just making it for two of us. This is probably too much bacon, but I haven't eaten today. So I'm probably going to be snacking on bacon as we go. Uh, you just want to cut these into like little cubes, basically. Little strips, little cubes. We're going to fry them up in a pan um, and we'll get those sort of, sort of going. So that's all cut. Let me get this pan going. We're gonna put this pan over like medium low. This is Lana, if you guys can see her. <laughs> this is our dog. Uh, pan's gonna go medium low-ish. We don't wanna like overcook this bacon too quickly, uh, but we want it to get nice and brown and crispy and good uh, for it. I know we're early, but if there are questions, let me know. Have y'all heard of slash had carbonara before? Also, what is everyone's favorite pasta? That's always a good one. That is a good one. Is this with your favorite pasta? Yeah, it is with pasta questions. This is going. Bacon, if it needs help, like if there's not enough fat, I'll add a little bit of olive oil and we'll get that going. We're gonna let that heat up with the pan. Not something that I usually do, but it's gonna heat up with the pan and the fat's gonna render out of it uh, kind of slower and nicer. So, yep. Now, bruschetta time. I'm gonna put the oven on broil. Let's do a little broil. Uh, bruschetta, we got tomatoes, basil. I'm gonna do olive oil and then some cheese in this mix. So I'm gonna be chopping some tomatoes. This is just a nice little cherry-ish style tomato. I'm gonna go with basil. Have questions come up? Can... No questions yet. Perfect. Lots of love for spaghetti. So I'm mentioning that we're using spaghetti noodles. Oh, and chicken piccata. Ooh, chicken piccata is really good. I had a dream about chicken piccata <laughs> like last night. Of course you did. Literally had a dream about it. Yeah, we're using, this is squared spaghetti. I couldn't find uh, what I usually use, which is like uh, a spaghetti that's kind of textured on the outside. I like to use that. Uh, it holds the cheese and everything a little bit better, but this is what we had. So went with this. So basil is nice and finely chopped. That can go in. And then we're going to start on these tomatoes as well. Tomatoes are something I used to kind of hate raw, uh, but things like bruschetta, things where you can like eat it, but it's interesting and different. Helped me a long way to like eating vegetables that I don't really like. So if you're kind of in the don't like raw tomato thing, this is sort of a good place to start with them. We lost one. We just need them to be like tiny, put on breadable. That's what I think is a good, good term. Incredible. They like that. 
I mean, I think it makes sense. All right, so we're just gonna work our way through this. Bruschetta is something that like, I don't have measurements for because uh, my family's Italian and I've never measured something like this probably ever. Um, I think measurements are really good and really important, but I think there's some stuff that feel is a little bit better of a judge. Uh, and I think all of Italy would probably attest to that. So we're gonna do enough tomato and enough basil and enough salt, and we're gonna taste it. And if it works, great. If not, we can adjust it, make it work kind of later. Also, let's see if I can accidentally cut myself on <laughs> video. That would be real nice. Make our ratings go up, probably. Our ratings, yes, we do it for the ratings. Yeah. Lindsay said, Cam just spoke on behalf of Italy. Bold. I mean, was I wrong though? <laughs> when, have, when have you seen any Italian? I'm just, I'm personally not brave enough to speak on behalf of countries. So I don't know you. <laughs> All right, so this is bacon. This is definitely going to be too much bacon, like I said, but snacking bacon is always a good thing. Now that this is sort of going, we can probably put our pasta in. Uh, like I said, this is for two people, so I'm not gonna use this whole box. Uh, we're gonna use like a fourth of it, probably maybe a half. Come on, I'm very glad we're here. Did you say that's like half the box? I like to do, per person, like a handful. I don't know if that quite makes sense. But like, this is probably enough for one person. So if we double this, we'll get, we'll get close enough for two. And you can always add a little bit extra, just in case. So that's probably two. We'll go a little bit more than two. Yeah, that ended up being about half the box. Like I, I said. Like What's up? They like the hand trick. It's good, it's helpful. I mean, making the right amount of pasta is like always gonna be a challenge. Uh, but if you make more, you're kind of better off than making less. So just get these in. Most pastas, I will cook like a minute less than the box says. That's just something that like, picked up a lot of the times it's pretty much perfect like what the box says is usually perfect but if it's going to be hanging around like in a sauce for a while if it's going to be out and still hot you may end up overcooking it so i like to go one minute less with something like this we're not going to be like it's going to be really quick once everything's cooked it's going to be really quick so i'm just going to do the time it said i'm going to trust them they know what they're doing probably better than I do. Uh, bacon, along. Get that stirred. And now we'll take all this over here and work on finishing bruschetta and grabbing bread. This is a lot less space than I'm used to. So it is what it is. This is just a nice big loaf of French bread. Use whatever bread you guys like. This whole like wet paper towel under the board keeps it from slipping. Uh, really, really helpful and really nice. If you're like slipping on your cutting board that's not really safe, so don't do that. I'm uh, gonna cut this end off, and then for this, I'm just gonna cut this bread at an angle. That can be eating bread. I can how much you want. Two, three? Two sounds perfect. Perfect. All right, so let's set bread sliced kind of at an angle. That's gonna go in a pan. That's gonna go in the oven. We're gonna hit it with olive oil. These things were like $15 on Amazon. I have six of them. 
they're like the most helpful thing in the world. Like this and bowls make cooking so much easier and so much more fun, I think. And then salt, one more side. Oil, a little bit of salt. And that's gonna go into that broiler. Let's the pasta. You can start to keep it from cooking or from sticking. My um, my family has always put olive oil in when it's cooking. I don't, I don't do that. I don't really think it does much. Um, same with like when the pasta comes out. I'm not going to rinse it. I'm just going to leave it. Uh, whatever's left on the outside, that kind of starchy pasta stuff on the outside is really helpful, especially with the dish that's kind of like this, where it's mostly mixing together. Uh, I like to do that instead of like rinsing it off with with the uh, cold. as possible. Oh, we were somehow muted. Sorry, guys. For how long? <laughs> Was that like a long time? No, I think just for the tomato question. Okay, great. Um, do you want to just repeat which yeah. one? Sorry, y'all. So these are San Marzano style. They're probably not from Italy, uh, but they're a bit more like almond shaped is what I was showing instead of just like a regular cherry or regular grape. Um, any tomato that tastes good raw is what you want to use. Um, and then also with something like a bruschetta where it's a couple of ingredients, all of this is like a very small amount of ingredients. You want those to be good. Um, good olive oil, lots of salt, basil, tomatoes. That's basically it. I may add some cheese to the bruschetta because I like it. Uh, we're going to add enough olive oil to coat it again. And then tomatoes, I think need salt. Um, we're going to taste this just to make sure it's good, but enough salt. This may need more basil, maybe needs more salt. Right now, actually looks pretty good. Y'all can see, it's like nice, pretty green and red. Uh, I've got two cheeses here. These are for the carbonara, but I'm probably going to put one in. This is Pecorino Romano. Uh, it's a hard sheep's milk cheese. It's kind of it's like very salty, but also a bit odd, a bit different. Parmesan tastes exactly like you expect it to. It's nutty. You've had it your whole life. Uh, carbonara is usually made with just pecorino. I think that's a bit too funky for my taste. I like Parmesan in with it. Uh, so I've got those around here. Those are grated. And because I've got them, I'm just going to put a little bit of Parmesan into the bruschetta. Because why not? Some pepper. That's going to get mixed. And this is probably good to go. Let me taste it. Taste as you go is like probably the most important thing with cooking. You can fix most stuff if it's wrong. Uh, so, yeah. How are you looking? It's good. It's like That's good to go. That can go aside. Bread. Hopefully it isn't burning. No, we're good. Also in my family, we have a habit of like getting to dinner with bread in the oven and then burning it. It happens like every single night, basically <laughs> in the Marty household. So this bacon is still going. You can see it's not like, hopefully I don't like spill bacon grease on my dog, but you can see it's not massively bubbling. This is like closer to low than it is medium. Nice and brown. We're going to take that out now. So 
but just use like a sliding spoon. Take the bacon out. And there is like five minutes left on the pasta. This is almost perfect timing. Bruschetta is going to come together, carbonara is going to come together, and we're going to be we're going to be chilling. We're going to be fat chilling. I just killed a spider. I think my wife just killed a spider and she was <laughs> freaking out behind the scenes. I was dropping over the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I love it. Oh, Amy, no. <laughs> uh, two things we're going to save that seem not important, but I think are. I'm going to save some bacon grease. Uh, it's bacon fat, but we're going to put a little bit of that probably in if it needs a bit of oil. When we're mixing everything together, we may need a bit of bacon grease. Uh, so we're going to bacon, bacon fat, coffee. And then check bread. This is like golden. Someone asked, do you have to use bacon grease? No. So. This is something I wanted to also bring up. Carbonara is not normally made with bacon. Like if you go to Italy, it's not, it's not bacon. Probably it's, it's something called manchale, which is like a cured pig cheek, like this part of the pig. Um, I think places like commissary Jimmy's, I think have it in Dallas, uh, whole foods. I think I've gotten it from before. It's really great. Again, it's got a bit of that like funky meat flavor. Uh, pancetta works. Bacon is just something that's like available in every grocery store. Uh, so I'll use that. But I've seen people, and I've never made it, but I've seen people make it, if you want like a vegetarian one, make it with uh, mushrooms. Like people will do dried shiitake mushrooms and like reconstitute them in water. And it gives a, a good like dried mushrooms, if you've never had them like reconstituted, they're very, very flavorful. They're like pretty salty and, and really good. So what I think is you can replace the bacon with that dried mushroom. And then instead of like, if you need a fat for it, just use olive oil instead of bacon grease. This is just something that like, instead of trying to throw it in the trash or down the drain right now, might as well use it. But yeah, vegetarian one would be good with mushrooms. Um, I don't know a solution to vegan carbonara because of the, like eggs and cheese are so important to it, but that could be something I can find. Last thing we need is eggs. This is gonna be really tough. Move this guy out the way. I'm gonna grab a big bowl. Um, a thing about carbonara is. The sauce is really just a combination of eggs, cheese, and pasta and the pasta water. If you were to add these eggs straight to a hot pan, or if they get too hot too quickly, they would turn into scrambled eggs. Uh, to fight against that, we're gonna do everything basically in a bowl. Uh, so everything's gonna be off the heat. The eggs are still gonna get cooked because there's enough heat from the pasta. So you don't have to worry about like raw eggs but we don't want to overcook them. That would be kind of kind of gross. Uh, so what I do as like a measurement per person is one egg yolk per person plus one egg. So two people, we're just gonna have two egg yolks and one egg, one whole egg. That kind of tends to work. To get rid of, ooh, I don't have a third hand, but to get rid of egg, I cracked that accidentally. A good way to get rid of the white is just to use your hand. Just use like a, a hand and you can get rid of it. You don't need to get rid of all of it. So that's one egg yolk. Let's see if I can break that one too. And you can just pull it out. Two egg yolk. And then one whole egg. my hands because they're all icky. You don't want to keep them that way? I'm not going to keep confused. them that way. Pasta is like very close, which is good. We're coming together. 
together. I'm going to have tongs handy and we've got our cheeses, bacon, eggs in the pan, salt, oil, pepper. Everything is right here that we need to eat these eggs. Eggs are ready. Here's my collar. Another thing, last thing we need, this is just a helpful thing to have. It's kind of like a safe, almost. Like it's like a, that's the word for it. It's helpful. It's your safety net. That's what I was looking for. It's some pasta water. If this gets too like thick, and viscous and you're just not, you don't know what to do, pasta water will kind of save it. So we're gonna grab like half a cup of that in case we need it. We're gonna drain this over our sink. That's ready to go. Anything else? Eggs are in. My kitchen is very messy right now. This is like the messiest it's ever been. So ready, pasta's gonna go right in, and now we're just gonna mix like crazy. Move that. So this is gonna do the job of cooking the eggs, but also it's going to, you know, I already see it kind of gets glossy and saucy and it's delicious. This is how it kind of works. We're gonna add our bacon. At this point, it's very quick. All of that went in, I think it'll be fine. The magic definitely happens fast. Yes, like this. this all happens very quickly. You can already see like it's, there's no raw egg at the bottom. The egg is gonna be cooked. It's gonna be creamy. There's salt in the bacon. There's salt in the cheeses that we're about to add. So we don't wanna add any salt yet. And if we need pasta water, there's salt in that. This is the Parmesan, big handful of that. This is the Pecorino. Big handful of that. This gets mixed, mixed and mix. We had a question about where we got our bowls. Were these Amazon? These were, your parents got us these, I think. Oh, really? These may have been Amazon. This is another thing I may actually, not to plug too hard, but I'm gonna probably make a video at some point about things that are like very helpful and non-common not that bowls are uncommon but like these bowls these containers and like squeeze bottles make the world of difference uh, i think it's so easy to just like have a bowl this big i'm sure you could find these on amazon i would probably just search for aluminum or stainless steel i think these are aluminum stainless steel is great stainless steel is probably better uh, but so we added a little more cheese. It was looking a bit um, loose. So we added more cheese. Now it's a bit, this is a good example. It's a bit like too tight of a sauce. So we're gonna add pasta water, just a bit. Can they see Lana? Just down there like licking yeah, the floor. Yeah, like she's barely visible. Our dog is just licking the floor as dogs do. Just trying to find the bacon. There is one bacon. All right, so this sauce is looking good. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's like kind of perfectly glossy and nice. Do you want to bring it just a little closer? Oh, yes. So this is it. This is no pepper yet. We're going to add a lot of pepper. Um, probably too much pepper, but so far, this is nothing but pasta, cheese, and bacon. So we need something to make it not taste as intensely that. It really is a lot of pepper. So much pepper. It is, this probably won't be enough. But you wanna see like, I think the best carbonara is you can see like dark specks of pepper, like kind of all throughout it, we're getting there. I'm gonna give this now a taste to see where we're at. Again, taste your food. It's the only way you'll know if it's 
kind of good or not? Good. That's great. Um, it probably doesn't need salt. It needs more pepper. Again, y'all saw this was a lot of pepper. I didn't end up using. I saved that that bacon fat. Didn't need it. It's we're gonna be fine uh, without it. So there you go. And there's that. You can see there's kind of pepper in it. Hopefully that's high enough. There's pepper in it, there's bacon, we're losing some noodles. I'm about to drop it on my dog. But there you go. So this is ready to go. Bruschetta is about to be ready to go. Grab. This, we're just gonna put it in a big old bowl. Megan Kay, do you want this one? Sure. <laughs> Always. Mackenzie wants to come over for lunch. Okay. <laughs> the second bowl is for you, Mackenzie. I want to give you some bacon. But... Thank you. So that's ready. Gosh, so many things. I'm going to crack some pepper on at the end. If you've got it and you want it, a little cheese. So this is good to go. I don't have a fork for you, but that's for Megan Kay. And I will take a picture so y'all can see the final product up close. And then this is the bruschetta. It's cooled. We need this as well. We're just gonna top this with some of the tomatoes from earlier. And we kind of know everything tastes good because we tasted it along the way. So I assume it's going to taste good when it's all together. I like pepper. So I'm going to put a bit more at the end. And there is bruschetta as well. I'm not going to tilt this one because it's going to drop. You can see it. Yeah, it looks it. great. Um, yeah, I'm going to grab a fork and eat out of the bowl. This is for you. Thank you. Are there? Now we get to clean up, which is great. That's the best part, right? Yeah, we won't make y'all stick around. We won't make y'all stick around for that. Unless you just want to. But are there are there questions? I can give y'all the actual like recipe written down um, with what it is. If y'all want to see that, I can give that to y'all and we can kind of pass it around through Common Desk. But any questions, comments, concerns? You're getting some snaps. Some snaps. Yeah. Oh, thank y'all. And people are excited for the recipe. Yes. I'll give so that to y'all. great. All right. I don't think we have any questions. Great. Oh, we do. Jeremy said, how much pasta water do you usually save? I, so I just grab a container, any container, and save like this ended up being half a cup. You won't need this much by any means. You'll usually need like two tablespoons or so. It's just easy to grab a big thing and dunk it into the water before you dump it out. So save more than you need. If now I toss this down the sink, that's not going to matter. Uh, but as long as you have enough, you're, you're sort of solid. This is a really good test of like tasting as you go, adjusting. I can give y'all a recipe and it'll it'll be close, but if you like more pepper, you're gonna wanna add more pepper and a recipe's not gonna tell you that. Uh, a recipe's not gonna tell you how much cheese you want and how much uh, salt something needs because I can get y'all in the ballpark, but you may like food saltier or less salty. And so it's a really, really good practice of tasting as you, I mean, both of these are. Bruschetta, taste as you go. Carbonara, taste as you go. And a reminder for what the pasta water is saved for. Oh yes, it it um. If the sauce gets too thick and like, they call it, they say it's tight. Uh, you can use it to loosen up the sauce and make it a bit more liquidy. It also helps everything stick together. There's like you can see this isn't just regular water. It's kind of starchy from the pasta that was cooked in it, and it's also a bit salty from the salt. So it's sort of an extra seasoning, honestly. Uh, it helps the sauce come together and it helps season it. 
Any other questions? Yeah, any other questions? Any other any other thoughts? I want to eat this bruschetta real bad. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you Great. guys for coming. Yeah, for always real. count on common desk. Thank y'all so much for for being here and, and watching and uh, I wanted to have like a cook along, but I didn't know how to best do that. So hopefully I'll make this sometime soon. Let us know if you do. Yeah, if you do, send me or Megan K pictures of it. I'd love to see. <laughs> awesome. Well, y'all okay. have a great rest of your day. Bye everyone. <laughs>